Alrighty then, welcome to another video, The One Good Road here. Today I wanted to give you a really quick and easy four step easy guide for getting into bicycle touring or bikepacking. I will get in straight into this list, but firstly, step one is what bike are you going to use? Generally you can use any bike that you want. You can use the one sitting in your garage, you can use the one you use for commuting. Personally I use a gravel bike back there. It's a really good bike, there's nothing really inherently wrong with it. It was a very good price for like 500 Australian dollars. I have a video which I go into more detail. iCard will be either here or there. Links down below for all of the things I'm talking about. So I actually, yeah, like I said, have another video which is more in depth, more in detail about the bicycles that I've toured with. And I'd recommend you go and have a look at that. But like I said, you can tour on pretty much any bike that you want. There's road bikes, mountain bikes, cyclocross gravel bikes tandem bikes, recumbent bikes, touring bikes. There's a lot to choose from. I've toured with about six or seven different bikes, tandem bikes, ro road bikes, mountain bikes. But actually with this bike, I've rode from Sydney to Perth with it, across Australia, across the Nullarbor. I also rode across the United States on a Fuji 1.3, a Tread 1.3, Sportif 1.7, I believe. Uh, lots of different bikes. So I'll leave a link down below for all the different bikes that I've toured with. And I actually started touring when I was 15 years old on a, what was it? It was a Python bike, a brand in the UK. And it's a really basic city urban bike and it just had some suspension and decent tires, about the same thickness as these ones, but totally different geometry to this sort of cyclocross bike. Touring bikes are good, but I find them to be quite heavy. And I think you can still get a pretty decent bike out of just whatever is lying in your garage or whatever you can use and get access to. I, th I think you can tour on any bike, personally. Generally, if you're going to buy a brand new bike, I'd recommend spending 300 to 500 uh, U US dollars on a brand new bike from the main manufacturers like Giant, Trek, Specialized, you know, these, these much bigger brands. Those will be good, decent quality, and you can get a really decent touring bike for that price. If it's sitting in your garage, though, I definitely recommend go to your local bike shop and get that service before you tour with that sort of bike because it might have some problems with you along the way. It, it, it might have, you know, the tires might be getting punctures every five kilometers or something like this. So you, you best go and check that first. But yeah, generally I think once you've got a bike, the wheels roll okay, the brakes are all right, the shifting's okay, then I think you're ready to go in some ways for the bike part. And if you're brand new to it, uh, like I said, use that method, which is 300, 500 bucks, and anything above that will get you a really decent prop bike to get you started. Any touring bike or gravel bike will give you loads of different options and routes that you can take. So getting straight into it, step two on my list, I would recommend planning your route before you go anywhere. Before you even pack, you've got to plan where you're going. I have a full in-depth video, I'll leave a link here or over there, um, where I will explain to you how to create bicycle t tours like literally draw out the routes and then you can download and upload them onto your phone and such like this and share them with friends i'd recommend checking what you're going to come up against is it going to be mountainous terrain you're going to be mostly on roads you're going to be mostly off-road you're going to be along the coast so there are going to be many towns in between the in between a lot of these details you don't need to worry about too much just go to the next town like start start in your hometown go to the next town and then go back and then build it up from there. So start it with a weekend trip, grow it to a week, week sort of trip and then grow it to a month. And just step by step is what I would recommend if you're getting into bicycle touring or bike packing. But like I said, I have a full in-depth video. I'll leave the links either up here or down below in the description. And obviously with planning, you've also got to think about if you're going to tour in winter or summer. Generally in winter, you're going to carry more layers and in summer, you're just gonna have less layers to carry. The next thing on my list, and that, that would be the packing. So let me just uh, show you the bike real quick. Now this is the type of touring that I do. It's called bike packing. It's where you strap the bags actually onto the bike rather than using a rack. But everyone can use different bags. I mean, I just personally prefer bike packing. I think it's more efficient and lightweight, but I leave it up to you to decide. I have a full in-depth video of my my like bike packing setup so that you can actually see what I carry with me it's because I won't get into detail what you need to carry with you G you know it's generally like carrying a, a bicycle pump some basic multi-tool kit some food water some basic clothes and a helmet 
at Hivers. I recommend Hivers, and you're pretty much set to go. That's what I would say. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you want a more in-depth video, I'll leave a link either here or here or down below, um, and you can get more into detail about what I pack and what I take with me. And that's pretty much it for the entire list that I just said, to be honest. I'll give you, like, step four would be probably some little tidbits which I'll explain now, but it's generally that, that three method formula, which is get a bike, plan the route, pack, go. That's, that's pretty much it. I, that's the formula I use. Now for some little tidbits. What I would recommend is if you're planning out a route and you're not sure where to go, look at other people's YouTube videos on where they've traveled. For example, let's say I want to go into tour in Japan. I'll type in bicycle touring in Japan and there'll be a bunch of videos where people give their opinions, their routes, and you know, it's tons of different stuff about them touring there. And plus you can visually, you can really visually see what the roads look like, what they came up against, and that's what I would really recommend. Is just look up other people's videos on where they tour. I have a load of them down below, and I'll leave a link down below uh, for my bicycle tours in Australia, New Zealand. I've toured top to bottom there. I also have Europe. I have uh, videos on touring across America. There's loads of different stuff I'd recommend. Uh, check it out in the link down below. Also with packing, you can obviously include a tent. Like I said, I've got details on that in my other videos. And you can also use, well, instead of camping, you can also use couch surfing and warm showers. I'd recommend that. They're both hospitality websites for basically hosts who can host travelers as they're traveling along. I'll, I'll leave links down below for that. It's an amazing uh, platform where people are really kind and helpful to pe travelers who are traveling around looking for a place to stay and hang out. I'm actually writing a book, which I will get more into detail later on in the next few months, I guess, but it's gonna be about bike packing and getting into bike packing because I think, personally, I think it's the future of bicycle touring in my opinion. Now, depending on what country you're going to be going to, I would really recommend using an application called TransferWise. It allows you to transfer money from another bank account in, say, Holland, all the way over to a bank account in the United States. And it cuts all of those horrible transfer fees and saves you a lot through the currency exchange. And there's, there's no transfer fees between banks. It goes from one bank to another, and the system is really seamless, and it saves you a heap of money. And I will leave a link down below if you'd like to support the channel because it also helps me out when you're making that uh, transfer. And you, you save money because you won't have any transfer fees. It cuts the cost, of, I think the first four or five transactions is free, or the first 500 pounds of transaction is free. So I, I highly recommend that. I use that while, I use it even in Australia, from British pounds to Australian. So I'd recommend that. And that's pretty much it. If you follow that three-step formula, you'll be good to go for your first bicycle tour. I'll leave links to more detailed explanations on what I was talking about in this video. I just want to try and keep this video short and simple. And if you follow that formula, it should get you to where you want to go. Just start off small and grow up the trips as you get along. I'm sure you'll find your way. It's really, you've got to find what works for you. That's, that's such an important thing. Look up other people's videos for a lot of different opinions, but like I said, I've got a load of stuff on my channel. Now, if you'd like some personal coaching, I'm actually offering that on my website. If you go to theonegoodroad.com slash coaching, because I think that if I did a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation via calling or video chat, I can get much more into the details and specifics of what works for you and what I would recommend. And I've been touring since I was 15 years old. I am now 20 years old now. I have about 50,000 kilometers of cycling knowledge, I guess. It's been such a blast and I wanna explain and share and give out my knowledge basically to anyone who's interested. Because I've, I've seen a bunch of different comments and that's actually what inspired me to uh, do this video. So thanks for commenting that. I've forgotten your name, but thanks for that. And that's pretty much it for this whole video. So hope it helped you on your first bicycle tour. Any comments and uh, questions, leave it down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.